Hollywood has seen many famous on-screen couples over the years, but few embodied the charming chemistry and easy rapport of Doris Day and James Garner. Though they only made two films together in the early 1960s, their natural compatibility and likability shined through each one. From their initial collaboration in the 1960s to their final heartfelt conversation before Garner's passing, their connection remained unwavering, offering solace and support through the highs and lows of their personal lives. Amidst the glitz and turmoil of Tinseltown, Day and Garner found solace in each other's company, understanding, and unwavering friendship. Join Facts First as we embark on a journey to explore the remarkable friendship between Doris Day and James Garner. Instant On-Screen Chemistry when Day and Garner first shared the screen in the 1963 romantic comedy The Thrill of It All, their effortless chemistry captivated audiences. As soon as the cameras started rolling, the two stars clicked and brought an effervescent, hilarious dynamic to their scenes together. In the film, Day plays Beverly Boyer, a housewife who becomes the spokesperson for Happy Soap after being overheard gushing about it to a neighbor. Her doctor husband Gerald, played by Garner, isn't thrilled that her new job keeps her away from home. Though the plot centers around the conflict between the couple's domestic and professional lives, Day and Garner make every moment they're together on screen pure delight. As Gerald, Garner masterfully plays off Day's vivacious charm with amusing exasperation, highlighted in scenes where he struggles to care for their young children while she's off filming commercials. Yet the true magic happens when the characters clash and flirt with Garner effortlessly sparring with Day's whip-smart comedic timing. Like in the scene where Gerald grabs Beverly's wrist to stop her excited gestures, only to end up gazing into her eyes and pulling her in for a kiss. Day's unique talent for blending wholesome sexiness and humor shines through Beverly's infectious enthusiasm about her soap career clashing with her domestic duties. All that natural charisma allowed her to transform amusing misunderstandings with Garner into laugh-out-loud highlights. Director Norman Jewison knew putting these two gifted performers together would be cinematic gold. The thrill of it all became a top box office hit, and the undeniable chemistry between Day and Garner made them a perfect on-screen match. Their playful friendship Off-screen, Doris Day and James Garner developed a warm friendship filled with laughter and mutual affection. This down-to-earth connection stemmed from their similarities. Both were Midwesterners, with Day from Cincinnati and Garner from Oklahoma. As Garner's daughter Gigi recalled, they understood each other's rhythms so well. Day and Garner bonded over a shared love for animals. On the set of their first film together, Garner brought his young daughter over to pet Day's horse when it appeared in a scene. In her memoir, Day reminisced fondly about Garner coming over to keep her horse company between takes. Of course, both stars went on to establish charitable foundations for animal advocacy in their later years. The duo's carefree rapport led to plenty of amusement and laughs even during moments of mishaps. While filming their second feature, Move Over Darling, in 1963, Garner accidentally cracked two of Day's ribs during a comedic scene where he had to pull her off co-star Polly Bergen. Ever the professional, Day continued working despite the intense pain. She later teased Garner, saying she forgave him for breaking her ribs, both of them, and told him not to give it another thought. Day described having great fun with Garner on set, highlighting his humor and kindness. She quipped about their lasting friendship, mentioning that she felt as if they were married. Over the years, despite not seeing each other often, they stayed connected through regular phone calls, which Day had to instigate since Garner disliked talking on the phone. Their light-hearted dynamic persisted in these long conversations, with Day asking if he could pick up a phone and Garner just grumbling in response. Even when Day faced difficult times like financial hardship, her steadfast friend Garner offered support. Their relationship embodied camaraderie, laughter, and true affection. Day once remarked that they had fun, that he was a marvelous actor, so nice, and she just loved him. For his part, Garner said he wished he could have done 50 more pictures with her. Their playful bond outshined their limited screen time together. Garner's Deep Admiration for Day while Doris Day charmed audiences with her triple threat talent and Girl Next Door-like ability, co-star James Garner was just as captivated by her gifts 
and character behind the scenes. Garner was effusive in his praise for Day's acting ability, describing her as the Fred Astaire of comedy. Like Astaire elevated whoever he danced with, Garner explained Day had the talent for making everyone in a scene look good. He said that walking onto set, he would have a preconceived notion of how to play a moment. But when seeing Day's take, he mentioned that 99.9% .9 of the time he would toss his preconception away and play it with her. According to Garner, Day was so adept that making a movie with Doris was a piece of cake, a sexy ride on her coattails all the way. Whether in tender romantic scenes or big comedic moments, he found working with her almost effortless. When speaking of Day, Garner declared she was one of the two sexiest leading ladies he had ever starred with, ranking her right up there with Julie Andrews. Describing what made Day so magnetic, he shared that Doris didn't play sexy, she didn't act sexy, she was sexy. She attributed her appeal to a sexy whirlpool frothing underneath her all-American girl exterior. In an eloquent essay about Day, Garner expounded on her persona that charmed him as much as audiences. He recalled the first time seeing her light up the screen, feeling amazed by her beauty, voice, and star power. Garner mused that Day's sexiness combined with innocence and earnestness had enabled her success. He mentioned that he didn't think she could have achieved the success she's had if she didn't have this sexy allure simmering beneath her all-American girl exterior. Like plenty of devoted fans, Garner found Day stunning and charming. But as her friend and collaborator, he also deeply appreciated her talents and saw qualities that further distinguish the woman behind the Hollywood legend. Lasting bond until Garner's death Though Doris Day and James Garner's past diverged after co-starring in two films together in 1963, their friendship persevered for five decades until Garner's passing. The two stars didn't cross paths often, as Garner disliked Hollywood functions. But as Day recalled, they stayed friends because they talked on the phone regularly. Their mutual Midwest upbringing facilitated an easygoing rapport, where silence between them never felt uncomfortable. Day prized her private phone calls with Garner, and as the years went by, their relationship mirrored their on-screen comedic chemistry, never losing the ability to pick right back up where they had left off. When Garner's health declined in his final decade, his daughter Gigi ensured Day got to have one last conversation with her dear friend. According to Gigi, her father and Day had a really lovely conversation that provided needed closure near the end. Though Day couldn't visit Garner in person, hearing his voice provided comfort. When Garner passed away in 2014 at age 86, Day was devastated. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you realize that Doris Day and James Garner were so close? Let us know in the comments section below.